congratulations. You got the job. You're gonna be working on Splatoon 4. I know, I know. You see Splatoon 3 in front of you right now, but this development cycle is basically over. So we need your help in the next game. I asked you, aka the audience, for some help on Splatoon 4, but with a catch. It's your first month of the job, and there might be a couple of problems. Oh my god, there's a problem right there. You see, you made a really good change, something a lot of people want, but you also did something bad to make that happen. So come on back to the office with me, because I think we might have to have a talk about what you're doing to this game. Body of Water says we get four D-pad communication options, but they're only gonna be available in Splatfest battles. All right, I'll give this one an evilness score of like a four out of 10, I'll say. Listen, people love Splatfest and people love Splatfest music. And sometimes it can be hard to get your teammates to do what they want. But uh, if you give them only the communication options during Splatfest, that means we only get to see them once every like month or two. I don't think people will be very happy about that one. I'll let you off with a warning. Just be careful next time, okay? Jax Pool says we get a quartet of idols, but they're a boy band, and every Splatfest stage is a boring X shape. Now that's evil. I'm giving that like an eight out of 10 on the evilness scale. Look at the maps. People aren't gonna be thinking about the maps when they're thinking about the quartet of boys. <laughs> or will they? Let's head out to the office really quick, all right? I get it, X's have four points, one, two, three, four, it's a, it's a good idea, but I don't think it's for us at this time. Sorry. Kibitz says Perlina is confirmed. Yay, but we learn about them from a sunken scroll and off the hook doesn't appear at all in Splatoon 4. Wow, wow, I have no words. Nine of 10 on the evilness scale. Nothing more that people hate than when the lore gets pushed, pushed into the story mode and we never hear from the characters. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Blue says, we finally get dedicated servers! Mm, but the catalog is 50 times more grindy than Splatoon 3's. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I talked this one over with the boss and we decided, you know what? You can keep your job. Because it almost makes sense when you think about it. If the servers work, all the player base is gonna wanna play like 50, even 100 times as much. This is a great idea. You know what? We're giving you a raise. Spooky Spaghetti says we get arcade games, rhythm games, Snake, Pac-Man, etc. But in order to play, you need to win five battles, you know, which takes like 20 minutes for one singular play token and it's never changed to be improved. Oh, I wouldn't know any modes like that in the game currently. <laughs> I brought you in the office today to tell you the boss loves. I brought you in the office today to tell you the boss loves this one. No amiibo, no problem. We'll give players the ability to play the games all they want if they have one of these. Otherwise, just play five games and then they can play once. I think it's a great trade-off, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's Pikachu time says we get more crossover gear like the Squid Girl outfit in Splatoon 1. But, uh, the gear is, um, uh, locked behind level 100 in the catalog and removed from your inventory after the season is over. Ooh. I'll give this one like a seven on the evilness scale because you know what? It's not like you have to get the gear. <laughs> But like people are probably gonna want it. Some people finish their catalog in like five days But some people like never finish their catalog. I can tell you with confidence if they put something like this in the game People would return the game <laughs> Secret org says we get custom kits, but we never get any balance updates <laughs> ever again <laughs> Oh no Trade offer, you receive bow with burst bomb. Um, the reward, bow is never balanced ever again. <laughs> the level of evilness of this could really depend on how good of a place Splatoon 4 is in like a year or two in. Is it in a good spot? People will, people will clap their hands. You'll be getting a standing ovation. 
people at your workplace will have to come to a meeting with you just so they can give you the random freebies that people are sending in the mail, specifically only for you. Take it. Come on, take it, take it. You made a great idea. Hmm, but if things aren't looking good, I hate to say it, but, uh, the resignation letter's looking pretty nice right now. Polaris says every single weapon has a balanced kit, and it's fun to play and feels good to use. However, you're only allowed to play one weapon forever, unless you pay fees to Sheldon. <laughs> so, like, how bad are the fees we're talking about here? <laughs> Come on, man, 100,000 coins is only a number of dozen games of Turf War. You know what? We were almost considering letting this one slide, but do you see this right here? This is the amount of coins the boss has right now in Splatoon 3. And he realized, this isn't gonna work. Sorry, we gotta let you go. Iso Petter says more hairstyles, but every time you swap hairstyles, uh, there's a high chance you get a bad cut. <laughs> Honestly, I don't feel like this one is that bad. Like if it's just a percent chance, like let's say like a 70% chance every time you change hairstyles, you might end up with a bad haircut. All I do is just like reload and try it again, right? As long as you have patience. You, you, you can get something decent, right? Now, if they lock you into a bad haircut for like 10 minutes after you make a choice, then that's bad. Because look at this, this is the normal haircut that I have in game all the time, right? And here are some of the other normal haircuts in the game, and it's not that bad because at least there's like something back here. But you keep going along the menu and <laughs> I'm, I'm just so used to having my little blobbies, you know? They gotta be there. BCF says fly fish get drastically nerfed but every other boss salmonid gets buffed to be just as powerful as the fly fish used to be. Oh boy! Imagine the maws needing two bombs instead of one. <laughs> Imagine if instead of being able to just kill a steel eel from the back, you instead had to throw two bombs at specific locations on its body to be able to destroy it. Ooh! Imagine if for a Drizzler, you could only get them by throwing the bomb into where he lands. Okay, like, like, like he lands like that, right? He opens up, and then bada bing, bada boom. Gotta throw the bomb in there. <laughs> you miss? Well, not my problem. Not my problem at all. Oh, and if you want to make it fun, you know, you know how fly fish, like, hit you with missiles? What if instead, when the Drizzler rain blew up, it actually did damage? And it just turned into rain. It blew up, too. <laughs> So I spoke to the higher-ups about your idea, and they said you should go to Grizzco by yourself to see it for yourself first, before we implement it. So, uh, hopefully you still have a job tomorrow. Something I just learned when playing this training, because I haven't played this in years, is that you actually can't leave unless you kill the boss. <laughs> You know, I liked Alex's sleepy lemurs at first. They said Splatoon 4 has it, so now all items are available from the start. All gear, all weapons, all items, all poses. But you can only use each of them once a day. But you know what I say about that? What about the sweats like me? There's only what? Like 48, 50-ish poses? Do I only get to play... 50 games a day? Do I... Do I have to just do nothing <laughs> at the end of the match afterward? <laughs> Does the match finish and your character just like... T-poses because there's no more poses left? <laughs> Wait... <laughs> Skipper says, not only do we get a brand new idol group, but we also see the return of the Squid Sisters, of Off the Hook, of Deep Cut, performing and all! However, when a Splatfest occurs, you're not allowed to play any other mode. No Ranked, no Salmon Run, no Turf War even. All you can do is watch the idols perform. So how do you win? By watching the idols perform! At the end of the Splatfest, they'll take everybody's total time and average them, similar to how they average the clout earned in Splatoon 3 Splatfests. Whichever team has the best average time wins the Splatfest! That was horrifying. Almost so horrifying, I can't imagine a place for you at this... Wait. Wait, 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 okay. I'm gonna make a call for you because I just thought of the best idea. 
how would you like to move from the development team for changing the game around to working for the next story mode? Is that, is that okay? Is that okay? I'm gonna go make a couple of calls. I'll be back. This one's a special mention just because it's so cruel. Goomba says, in Splatoon 4, you can pick any weapon you want in Salmon Run, but you have to only play on Marooner's Bay and the only boss Salmonids that can spawn are Flyfish and Stingers. And then people just are like, oh yeah, you know what? The only wave is gonna be Glowflies. Double Explo, double Grizzco Roller. Wow, wow, come on. Come on, guys. You're so mean. Evergreen Taiga. Oh, like, like this tree. Like this tree. It says we get a ton of fan service from Splatoon 1. As well as undoing all the gameplay changes from Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. Including the mechanics and the weapons. Can you imagine you boot up Splatoon 4 and these guys just aren't there? Bo? More like, whoa, I've never heard of that. <laughs> the boss has a really big soft spot for the dual squelter, which hasn't been around since Splatoon 1. So we think that going back to the past should include bringing back the dual squelter too. Congratulations. You've gotten a raise. Congratulations. Honestly, the evilness of this depends on what kind of player you are. If you're tired of getting obliterated, just let me just let me get to it, by one of these bad boys, this guy with its big hitbox, maybe you'd be celebrating. You'd be jumping, you'd be jumping around the walls seeing that these guys are gone. Who knows? I, I made a whole video talking about how every weapon has its like people who love it a lot. I would be devastated if there was no explo. <laughs> and here's a follow-up one that I saw immediately after making this one. Silver says, we get customizable weapon kits. Yay! But there's only four weapons in the game. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let me know. If you could pick only four weapons to exist, what do you do? Do you pick like the first four? Do you go like, oh yes, splatter shot, roller, Charger blaster? Do you get evil within his side? You know what? The only four weapons I want to keep in Splatoon 4. It is in the name, after all. I want, like, I, I want, like, Clash Blaster, Decavitator, uh, Hydra Splatling, and an H3 nozzle nose. What? You want to play a gun? You want to play a gun? Here's your gun. Wednesday says that we get custom tips and nails, like like you have inside order. But you have to max out every single catalog to get it. Now, in my mind, there's like one way that makes this super evil, and one way that makes this like okay evil. Imagine you unlock it whenever you have the current tally of catalogs unlocked, right? Like, start of the season, you don't have it. And then once you finish the catalog for the current season, you get it again. And then, you know, next season starts, you lose it. You have to finish the catalog to, to get it back. But if they truly mean miss one and then you're done, there's going to be people that get locked out of having it for like two years minimum. Listen, Splatoon 4, four years of catalogs? No tips for you. Hope you bought the game at release. All right, buddy. Get, 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 get out. Okay, this one's just me. And I'm reading this one because I visibly frowned when I saw it in the comment section. <laughs> Angel Octavio says, we finally get apartments, but we can't share them online. Boo. 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 Get out of my office. Anyway, thank you for working so hard. Can't wait to see you at your second month on the job, where I'm sure you'll have some more really good and really awesome ideas. Buh bye bye